What's up everybody, in today's video, I am going to update you on the GameCube collection so far, where we're at, how much money I've spent, how much it's worth roughly, and what to expect going forward. Let's go. So this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be kind of, you know, unscripted, not a very long video, not a complex video, nothing like that. It's just a video of me updating you on the GameCube collection, because as many of you know, I recently sold my complete GameCube collection and I'm trying to rebuild it a second time and get that complete collection back. And a lot of you want to come along for the journey. Now we'll be documenting most of it in the new hunting series, which we have the first video out in the series. I will leave a link to in the description down below if you haven't seen that it's our very first hunting episode turned out very well i think you will enjoy it so i highly encourage you to check that out second episode is coming out very soon and i score quite a few gamecube games in that episode so the purpose of this video series is for me to update you on the collection i'm going to try to make one of these about every 50 gamecube games i get so right now i'm currently at 52 gamecube games in the collection as of this video and there are several games that I got off camera, outside of hunting episodes, that sort of thing. And I wanna cover those games in this episode. And I also wanna tell you what I've paid so far for all 52 games and what the rough value is. And the reason I'm gonna share that with you is because I want you to see that you can build these collections without spending retail market value for these games. A lot of people don't seem to think you can do that, but you can. And I'm gonna show you that today because I've kept track of everything that I've spent for all of these GameCube games. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about the GameCube games that I've gotten kind of off camera, outside of hunting episodes and things like that. And we're gonna start with this stack right here. So, um, as a lot of you know, recently I went down to Dallas, Texas um, in order to go to the premiere of the Game Chasers movie. But while in Dallas, Mr. Rightway who is an awesome YouTuber you should check out. If you have not already, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below. Mr. Rightway took me game hunting for GameCube games to various game stores and thrift stores and things like that. And I got 18 games for the GameCube while hunting with him. So I'm gonna show those games off real fast. Now, I didn't record a hunting episode for that because he was recording a hunting episode and I just felt weird recording while he was recording. But if you wanna see me getting those games, you can check out his episode where he takes me on these various hunts and I'll leave a link to his episode in the description down below. It's a very good episode and you'll see a lot of these games that I'm gonna show you right now. But let me just run through the games real fast. So we have World Series Poker, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Peter Jackson's King Kong, NFL QB Club 2002, NFL 2K3, Major League Baseball 2K6, Madden 07, Madden 2002, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer, Jeremy McGrath's Supercross World, Happy Feet, Dave Mira Freestyle BMX, Two, Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, Blowout, Bionicle Heroes, Barnyard, American Chopper 2, Full Throttle, All-Star Baseball 2002. So those are all of the games that I picked up with Mr. Rightway as he took me hunting. And again, I will leave a link to his video in the description down below. Now, all of the games that I'm showing in today's video are all CIB. And by CIB, I mean they at least have the original GameCube case with the original cover art, the disc, and the manual. Um, because that's what I'm trying to do with this collection. I'm trying to make sure that I get them all CIB because my previous collection, some were missing the manual. So that's what I'm doing this time. Now, additionally, I did a trade with Mr. Rightway for a couple of bangers, and that is also in his episode. So I traded him various games for Mario Party 6 and Mario Superstar Baseball. Mario Party 6 being the most expensive Mario Party game on the GameCube. And those are both complete in box and in fantastic condition. So huge shout out to Mr. Rightway for doing that trade with me and hooking me up with a couple of bangers. Now on my way home from Texas, I decided to go up north a little bit and go to Springfield, Missouri and hang out with Tom and Lacey from Do You Nerd for a weekend. If you haven't checked out Do You Nerd's channel, please check it out. They've got awesome content. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description down below. So they took me hunting to various game stores around Springfield, Missouri. And while I didn't find a whole lot, I did at least walk away with three complete in box GameCube games. And those games are Ratatouille, NHL 2004, and one of the worst GameCube games ever made, 
Charlie's Angels. So shout out to Tom and Lacey from Do You Nerd. They also did a video recapping my visit. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. Next up are a couple of games that I technically got online. So the first game is Samurai Jack The Shadow of Aku. Now this is a banger. And when I say banger, I don't mean it's a good game. It's a rare and expensive game on the GameCube. And the reason that I bought it, and I bought it on eBay, by the way, I got a good deal on it though. I made the seller an offer. He actually recognized me from Retro Rick's video and he gave me a good deal on it. So thank you if you're watching this, I appreciate it. But the reason that I bit the bullet and bought this on eBay is number one, this game is extremely hard to find. I've never seen it in the wild. And I'm doing an episode of GameCube Gallery on it, reviewing it. And if I do an episode of GameCube Gallery on a game, I wanna make sure that I actually have the game. So that's the main reason why I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought this one on eBay. So that's Samurai Jack Shadow of Aku. Very expensive, very rare. Next up, I actually bought this game on Whatnot, the app Whatnot, and that game is Karaoke Revolution Party. I got this for a really good deal on Whatnot. If you have not joined Whatnot yet, I will leave an invite link down below in the description. If you click this invite link and join through that invite link, you will get $10 credit in the app for free that you can spend towards a bid and once you spend or use that ten dollar credit i also get a ten dollar credit so it's a great way for you to support the channel because i'm going to take those ten dollar credits and i'm going to put them towards gamecube games on whatnot to put into the gamecube collection so if you want to support the channel if you want to support me rebuilding the gamecube collection joining whatnot via that invite link down below will help me out a lot and I greatly appreciate it. Now, let's move on. So the next game I got in a trade from somebody local, a friend of mine named Stuart, that me and him have done many deals with games in the past, and he had this GameCube game, he reached out to me, and that is PN3, or as some people like to call it, PN03 or PN03. Now this is a fairly expensive game and I worked out a trade with him and I actually got that one on, on camera. So let's go ahead and roll that footage and check that out right now. So I'm here today with Stuart. What's up, Stuart? Hey. How you doing, well, man? How are you? So I wanted to ask you before we do this trade, uh, so show, show what game yeah, we got here. This game is PN03 for GameCube. Um, it was a game club exclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I said game club. So, uh, <laughs> it was a GameCube exclusive. Um, it's by Capcom, and uh, it's not the rarest game in the world, but it's not a not a super common one that you see very often. Yeah. So uh, it's nice and complete. Yeah. And so we worked out a trade today. So I'm trading him, and uh, all of these games are about the same value when you go by like price charting value. So we got breakdown on the original Xbox. And we got Time Crisis Raising Storm on the PlayStation 3. So if you want to yeah. go ahead and check those yeah, out, yeah, man, I'm make sure. Yeah, I'm going to hand this over to you. Yeah, make sure it looks good. Yeah. Look at that. PN03. GameCube exclusive from Capcom. Pretty decent game. You know, it's not the best game in the world from Capcom, but it's definitely pretty decent, nice, and complete, which is what I'm looking for for the new collection. So, yeah. I mean, it's got a, you know, it's got a little bit of, little bit of cosmetic damage, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm happy with that. So what do you think, man? You yeah. good? Yeah, these good are good. I'm, I'm actually trying to collect all the Time Crisis games. Yeah. And I own Breakdown, but I'm missing the cover art. So, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think it worked out. Nice nice trade. Perfect. So you got a manual for it? I do. Perfect. I have a, a disc and a manual, yeah. but no cover art. So this will be good to, to throw them together. Good deal. I appreciate the trade, man. I appreciate you contributing to the GameCube collection. And yeah. uh, you will see, if you watch this video, you will see this game going on the shelf yeah. adding to the rest I of the games. I always love to trade when I can to help mm -hmm. you know so that everybody is happy at the end. So yeah. yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. All right. Let's head back. So shout out to Stuart for hooking me up with that game in a trade. I really appreciate it, man. Um another awesome game to add to the collection. Now Next two games were actually a gift from my good friend Marcello over at GameCube Galaxy. If you guys have not seen GameCube Galaxy's channel and you love the GameCube, you've got to check his channel out. He has amazing GameCube content, so many banger videos, uh, reviews and list videos, just tons and tons of awesome content. And I will leave a link to his channel in the description down below. He bought a lot of games on eBay and he knew I was trying to rebuild the collection, so he wanted to hook 
hook me up with these. And thank you, dude. I really, really appreciate it. They're complete in box and they're in great condition. And those two games are Spy Hunter and ESPN International Winter Sports 2002, which according to him is an amazing game, which I never would have thought. So I'm going to have to check this one out. So shout out to Marcello from GameCube Galaxy. Thank you again, man. I really appreciate it. And this last stack of games in today's update video, I got from a good friend of mine named Josh. He is also a collector. I did a, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but I did do a game room tour. He has an amazing game room and I did an interview. If you wanna check those out, I'll leave a link to those in the description down below. He has an amazing collection that you can see in that game room tour, but he sold me six GameCube games. They weren't all complete in box, so I did have to track down the manuals for some of them online, which I did do, but he gave me such a great deal on these six games. I really appreciate it, Josh, if you're watching this. Thank you so much. And those six games are Top Gun Combat Zones, Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3, Star Wars Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2, Odama, Donkey Konga, and last but certainly not least, the banger of the stack, Super Mario Strikers, which I will soon be doing an episode of GameCube Gallery on reviewing the game, so be sure and stay tuned for that. So again, Josh, Thank you so much for hooking me up with such a great deal on those games. I really, really appreciate it. So that's it for all the pickups that I got outside of hunting videos that I wanted to show you today. So total, currently the collection is at 52 games as of this update video. And like I said, I'm gonna try to do one of these update videos about every 50 games. Now, let's talk numbers, because I've kept track of how much I've spent on every game thus far. So let's talk numbers, okay? So first, let me tell you the rough value of all of these games. So the rough value, if you go by kind of price charting and eBay, is around 900 to $950 worth of games for all 52 games that are currently in my GameCube collection. So 900 to $950. Now the total amount I paid for all 52 of these games are you ready for this? Is $448. So I paid $448 for $900 to $950 worth of games. So I paid roughly 50% or less than what they're worth at retail market value. I'd say that's pretty damn good. I don't know about you, but I would say that I'm doing pretty good so far on building the collection without spending that max retail value. And it's gonna get even better whenever I do the next update video, so I can't wait to share that with you. But, uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. That is the update on the GameCube collection. So far, I'm gonna do this small series you know, I don't know when the videos will release. It really just depends on when I get another set of 50 or more games. And then I'll do another GameCube collection update video, kind of the same format here, just updating you on everything in the GameCube collection as we go along. For those of you who want to go on this journey with me for completing the collection, my goal by the end of 2022 is to have 200 GameCube games. That's my goal by the end of 2022. And I think I can achieve that and I'm already well on my way to getting there. That's it for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Let me know what you think about how I'm doing so far on the GameCube collection. And again, if you want to support the channel, please join WhatNot using the invite link below. Use that $10 credit and that will be a great way for you to support my channel and help me build my GameCube collection back up. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate the support from each and every one of you. As always, stay safe out there, keep playing games and having a good time, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Later.
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're freaking awesome. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, share it with your friends and family. Check out all the social media links in the description down below. And if you want to see more Retro Wolf 88 videos, here's a couple more for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go play some more video games. Later.